So we've all seen those ads, right? Get up to $150,000 in business credit to launch that business you've always wanted to start. Well, is that really how it works? Is it really legitimate? We'll be breaking it all down here today. So if that's something that interests you, be sure you stay tuned. You know, there's a stat out there that says 70% of businesses fail within the first 10 years of operation. With such a high failure rate, how are these banks able to even promote business credit to new businesses? That's really the question that needs to be asked. And so that brings me to my first point. Would a bank really just give you business credit for your new business? The answer is kind of tricky, right? It's a yes and a no. We're gonna break that down during this entire video. So when it comes to getting approved for business credit, what do businesses typically have to show? Normally they're gonna to wanna to see that you had multiple years in business, right? They wanna see that this is not a fluke where you found a way to make a bunch of money and then it's gonna drop down like a rock. They wanna see that it's something where you've been in business for multiple years, so you've kind of built a certain level of expertise and you've had consistent and resilient revenue, right? So they can kind of see what the trends look like year over year, right? During different periods of the year as well. Also, they wanna see that you don't have any significant liabilities. And that's just to name a few of the things that they're gonna be looking for. Usually what I try to tell people is, take a look at the perspective, right? Would you let someone you didn't know borrow money without knowing if they'd be able to pay you back? And I'm not talking about, you know, you're giving somebody a couple of dollars or whatever the case may be. Imagine whatever you consider a large sum of money. If you consider you giving someone $5,000 would be a lot for you or $10,000, whatever the case may be. Would you just give that money to somebody that you didn't know, right? Or would you give it to even somebody you knew? Would you give it to them without you being sure that you'd be able to get that money back somehow? So why do we expect that from banks? So we wouldn't do it, but somehow we expect banks to do the same thing. And that rolls perfectly into my next point, right? So the piece that credit gurus typically won't tell you is that whatever business credit you get, it will typically be personally guaranteed, especially if you're a new business, unless you already have revenue and you get like a revenue-based loan, more than likely what you, like whatever loan you're getting will be personally guaranteed by you. And what personal guarantee means is that if you're a business and can't pay it back, you'll be personally liable for that debt. So if they can't get that money back from your business, okay, they're gonna just turn to you and be like, hey Jim, Jimmy's roofing isn't able to pay us back, right? But we decided because of in the contract, we put you down as the personal guarantor. Now we're coming directly to you. So you need to pay us out of your personal assets if you can't pay us out of the business assets. So that's kind of how it is. A lot of people don't touch on that part. I've seen a lot of people who have found ways to get business credit, right? Get some sort of business funding and not be able to pay it back and then end up in large amounts of debt, 10, 20, 30, even up to 70, $80,000 in debt and nothing to show for it. So keep that in mind. For me, I find that it's a risky idea to start a business, especially if it's your first business to try to do it just based off of credit, okay? To me, it's a lot safer for you to use cash to start a business and then use credit to grow your business, an existing business, right? It's kind of like you use cash to start a business and once you have a concept or you've kind of ironed out the kinks and you see, okay, this is the direction I'm heading, I can see that right now the only thing I need is more money to pour fuel on the fire, so to speak, right? That's whenever it makes sense for you to look into getting credit. To me, that's a lot safer of a route, especially when you think about running a business in general. Think about what you do at your job, right? If you currently have a job and you're working at that job, keep in mind that you're at this large corporation, you're at this big company, and you have one job at this company. Now imagine that if you're starting your own business, you have every job at that company that you're currently working at. You are the CEO, but you're also the person who's gonna be answering emails, the person who's gonna be creating whatever product or service you're offering. You're gonna be the one who's gonna be actually delivering on that product or service, so on and so forth. So now you're having to do a lot of aspects, right? You do the marketing, you do the operations, you do the financing, the finances, everything, right? So you wanna keep that in mind that it's gonna be a lot harder than it would you just working one job. So why not limit the risk as much as possible? Now, when it comes to business credit that you see in the ads, for new businesses, business credit is really just business credit cards, right? They have to say business credit, it sounds a lot flashier, it sounds a lot better than just saying business credit cards. Because when you hear business credit cards, you think, oh, well, well, I can just go do that by myself, right? So they like to say business funding to make you feel like, hey, they have some secret code or secret process that you don't know about. Now guys, there is nothing wrong with business credit cards. I even use them myself personally, and if you've watched my other videos, I've mentioned the benefits of business credit cards, and I think there's a lot of benefits. Just be mindful that 
you aren't getting some kind of, it's not some sort of installment loan or line of credit per se, right? The reason being is these are high interest credit products that you're using. So if you're carrying a balance, you just gotta be mindful that it can quickly eat into your margins. So if you're running a business and you didn't do the numbers correctly, you might think that you might think that you're gonna earn money, but you don't realize that you're paying interest, so much interest that it's kind of eating up all the profit that you have. So pretty much you're running your business just to help Chase or Bank of America make money. So in the end, business credit gurus will tell you how easy it is to get business credit cards, right? But they won't, you know, they don't have very many business success stories out there for a reason, right? A lot of times you'll see them just kind of say like, they'll have testimonials of people saying, I got this much in credit, I got this much in credit. But have you ever wondered why you never see testimonials of people saying, I got this much in credit and I was able to transform it into a business that's now doing 10,000 a month or whatever the case may be. They typically won't have that, right? Or it'll be more of something like, you get business credit only to invest in some other service that they offer that's supposed to make you money. That's typically what it's gonna be. But when it comes to you making your own business, unless you already have a business that's going and you're just pouring fuel on the fire, I don't think that it makes sense for you to be looking to get into business credit the way these guys do it, right? Where they're pretty much having you apply for multiple different credit cards at once. That way you can get hopefully approved for a bunch of credit limits and then you can use all that money to try to grow your business. Anyways guys, that's the gist of it. Be sure that you subscribe if you're interested in learning a little bit more about business and just see my journey in the business world in general as well, okay? So that's something that I'll be continually posting and if that's something interests you, be sure that you stay tuned and you join the group, right? You join the gang, alrighty? So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.